are live. Sorry, I'm uh, drinking lemonade and I'm not together. We're Hold never on. not Hold together. Let's start over. Hey guys, welcome to the Stay at Home Shopping Network. We are live every Thursday around four ish. Yeah, we'll say around four. For That's with uh, new items from JamieRayVintageHome.com. If you want to buy anything, that's where you go. Mariah is on. She's going to drop links. We're going to talk about stuff. You can ask questions about the products. Today is exciting. We have 20 new cement molds. We have a bunch of new floral topiaries, some Christmas, some handmade. And also, there's a new collection called Overstock. 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 And it's discounted items because we have too many that we made or whatever. Um, today, if you go to the collection, jamierayvintagehome.com, and you click Overstock, there are some corbels, cutting boards, charcuterie boards, and some apothecary jars that are on sale. And I'm telling you that now in case you want to check it out. Also, if you order multiple times throughout the live, just email info at jamierayvintagehome.com, and Caitlin can put all your shipping together. And if you spend over $200 and you're in the continental U.S., shipping is free. So don't be alarmed if we have some holiday stuff because Jamie's been shopping for it before the wholesalers are all out. And we're just going to put it up on, there, on the website so you guys can get it whenever. But we're going to show you what we got. All right, Zeb's going to get us started. I'm going to go ahead and pull up comments here. It's always hard to find on Facebook. It takes forever. All right, you go ahead. Okay, so if you watched Waste Out Wednesday, we've got some of these signs. We're going to start out with the handmade stuff. We've got some stenciled signs. This is the uh, agriculture, I believe, hey, Tom. stencil. Tom's checked in. He's got to check so out. So these are listed um, on the website. These are the, what are those called? Like uh, Signs? No, they're oh. signs, but what are they called on the house? The floor joists? They're joist. They're floor joist signs. Mariah will drop the link here below in a minute. Let me grab these here. We we are selling the signs that Zeb and I made for Waste Not Wednesday, but then we're also selling the blanks. So if you want to just buy the blanks, the blanks and make your own sign, you we can. have those, and we have a limited number of those. Let me just grab. So the this one's products. done complete. We're not putting a side on it because we think it's kind of cool just standing here. If you're feeling crafty, you could always make it double sided because this side's blank. Yep. And we have nine of the blank ones, the flower market sold, and then that one is $21.95 without the signs, sides, and this one is $24.95, and I, that's the one that Zeb did. You did a good job. All right, thank you. I, try, I tried real hard. It was interesting to get all the different tones and colors, but the small JRV stencil brush did the trick. Did the trick. So we also have the summer one, which is a little baby one, and that it's was the little one with the watermelon on it. And we used JRV stencils. So, like I said, you can buy the signs that we've already made, but you can also buy just the blanks. And the blanks come. Do we have a blank here? I have one up there. I'll go grab it. All right, Zeb's going to show you what the blanks look like. I may have like. to do some sanding before we actually ship those. No, out. they're coming raw. Like they're project condition. Okay. I actually already sold one to a customer in the shop today, and they come with a top and a bottom, just like the joy. Look, so if, if you, you get this one, it has the measurement on the garage that I needed. <laughs> and some extra green paint. This is, well, that's green paint from painting your buffet. Yeah, that's real Jamie Ray vintage green buffet paint. <laughs> so, you know. And that is twelve ninety five. This is, this is what they look like the before they're like painted. That. They're just... Their I being for Joyce. Thanks, Crescent Moon. Let's see. Uh, it, FYI, if you lose the comments, jump in and out. Sweet. All right, let's see if we've got any questions. Everybody's good. Little Blue Fly says they loved our signs on Wednesdays. We tried to be proactive because last time um, they we didn't have the blanks of the pediments and people wanted to make their own. All right, boudoir, that's Deb's favorite item. Well, no, but I'm gonna show it because I'm gonna move it so that I don't break it because it is porcelain. We only have one of these boudoir signs and it was given to us by one of our followers to sell. Cheryl, right? Was that um, Cheryl or is it no, someone else? No, this was a different one oh. and I actually don't remember. The card is in our scrapbook of cards. I'd have to look it up. But it's made of ceramic, it's mint and gold. Is it porcelain mm. or ceramic? It's I don't know. Is there a difference? Ceramic. Is there much difference? It's glass-ish. It's ceramic. <laughs> I, there is a difference. It's 8 dollars 
Oh my goodness, I don't even. We've been, uh, do the unfinished, they do not have the sides, Laura. If you buy the unfinished floor joist, it is just the joist with the top and the bottom. And the description even has like, if you click the variant, it'll show you what you're getting. So one of my newest favorite items that Jamie has procured are these carved books. They're wood, they're solid piece of wood. And all right, so you can't, it's got the binding back here and then the pages. And Jamie has taken it upon herself to decoupage one already. So we have a few of the options. So we have wood books that you can buy just blank and they're cute the way that they are. And that one is $16.95, they're solid wood. And then we've got a bigger, oh, we've got Here, a bigger I'll show one. You, I'll show you the unpainted side of the big one. So if you buy the unfinished large, it's $22.95 and they're pretty big. Show them against your forearm. You can see that this one is the big mamma jamma. And then you got the baby look. I can't, I can't, I can't show them, reference. it'll be hidden behind the Christmas tree. If you want the one that I painted. Or the Christmas signs. Oh yeah, this is the one Jamie painted. This was the printable, it was a color by number, and she went wild with it and colored way outside the lines. Hey, I think I did good. If you hold it back far enough, it looks like cows. If you, you look up the close, cows in the it's distance? one of those, you know, plays with your mind thing. Up close, no cows. Far so away, they cows. totally look like cows in the in the picture I'm looking at in the camera. Yeah, they totally look like cows. Twenty nine ninety five if you want the one I painted. They're listed <laughs> separately, so you can buy the large and the small, and then the hand painted one is listed uh, separately. What do you guys think? They love the wood grain. Little blue fly wants books. Great prices. Thank you, thank you. Stacy said all her signs she made have sold out, so she's gonna try to make some like us with a floor joist. So we're going to show some Christmassy stuff because it's also in my way. This Do is a set of three well. signs or is, are these separate? They're sold individually because I always, you know, I, I go back and forth because I just never know do we want to do all of them or do the people just want one so these are the buffalo check christmas signs and they're sold individually we have a new category on the website called holiday there's a ton of stuff listed we're not going to show you everything today because there's so much I and it's almost june and it's not even june but they're 14.95 each they're all framed they have hanging hardware on the back and i hopefully Odelia put she did not put the measurements but i think they're like 11 or 12 inches tall by 12. I will grab a tape measure because right, I let's have measure one that Because we gotta be exact on that situation. So they're $14.95 each. Which is why I listed them individually because somebody not, might not want to buy three for 45. They might just want one for $14.95. I was like, does it happen on the No, back? I was looking. So it's 10 by 10 by one and three eighths. It All right, I'm, put, I'm just gonna put 10 by 10. Okay. All right, now I have added the measurements. So those are in the holiday collection. So definitely check out the holiday collection because there's lots of fun stuff in there. All right, uh, so here's. Know. I'm gonna show them real quick. Oh, These okay. trees are like cutouts. Oh, they're yeah, not. They're, like kind of three they're not painted. The same with the other ones. Yeah, I didn't make the sign, so they're actually really well made and nice. <laughs> Whatever. They're not handmade, so they look better. <laughs> they have less charm. All right. Ty says hi. Hi, Ty. Michelle Clark's on here. She was here earlier. She bought my um, flower market sign before it even hit the market. All right. Let's see. I've got your bucket because it's also. Oh, Joe, you're not that late. We were 30 minutes late, so you're. Yeah, we were way late, so you know. Bar cold. Turn if you turn up the sound on your computer or your phone. Usually it works good. Amy says, I got my shirt and the necklace the other day, and she loved them. Hi, Amy. So this tin is actually really cool. If you're not feeling Christmassy, just flip it around and use this side. This picture. It's like, a, yeah, you could do it either way. All right, let me pull up the picture so I know the price. All this stuff is so new, I don't have the pricing memorized. I think these are going to be really popular. The old Christmas tree bucket yeah. picture. They were on back order already once by the manufacturer. We have six in stock. And uh, the measurements Odelia did not put in there. What are the measurements on that? Odelia. Odelia. So to the handle, it's 12 inches. The spout to handle. The spout is a little taller, so 10 and 5 eighths. Diameter what's on the, the bottom. 10 and 5 eighths, what's the decimal on that? 5 uh, eighths, 6.65? Yes, because, yeah, I think that's right. Okay. 
and then nine and three quarters tall. 9.75. Uh, the three quarters I got. You got that one. All right, I'm just gonna yeah, put that Yeah, because an eighth of an inch is 0.125, so. That's really cute. I actually want one for the house, so I hope they yeah, don't sell cool. before I take one out of stock. I think it'd be really cute to put a Christmas tree in, like a medium-sized Christmas tree would fit really, really good in that. All right. So we showed these before, next? but while she's looking for stuff, these are in the overstock. We got a few that Harrington made, and they're piling up, so we've got to keep him busy. So they're on sale right now. Once they sell out, we'll pull them back off sale. So if you want a pair and you've been wanting some and you've been on the edge, they're only going to be on sale for a limited time until we run out of our current stock, and then I'm going to be like, Harrington, make some more. And so, they will oh, be regular. We, it says we have two in stock, but we actually have four because we sell them individually. So let me, because I know we have two more in the basement. Let me up that. So they're $12.95 each for those corbels, and they're normally um, $18.95. So it's a good deal. We got some found items coming up too from the thrift hall. All right. Depends what do we got next? Sorry, books. I'm a little bit. I, I don't think I got enough sleep last night. We were excited. We we passed our four way inspection, which is uh, framing or structural, uh, plumbing, uh, heating and cooling, and electrical. Cheryl, the corbels, if that's what you're asking, Cheryl Howard, the corbels are solid wood. So hopefully, hopefully you got that. I'll put it in comments because she said the sound was low. Yeah, the they're they're they could be used structurally for like hanging on a shelf or whatever. They don't come with hanging hardware on them because a lot of people just use them flat on a, a bookshelf or whatever. Yep. All right. So found items coming at you. That is a pair of candlesticks. Let me pull those up. I think it's twelve. These are for the thick. Stick. Look at that, how thick that glass is. Good thick glass. Look at it, it matches my shirt. <laughs> what does your shirt say? I didn't even It look. says, I like thick glass. Oh. Oh, that's why it matches your shirt. I'm like, your shirt's gray and those are green. <laughs> now I get it. I'm a little bit slow on the uptake today. All right, they're six and a half by four inches and they are $12.95 for the pair. And we have one pair. These are going to be probably in the antique collection. They're antique the right bound. color green. Yes. Antique, vintage, and found, because they're found candlesticks. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay. So these are Reader's Digest books, and they do have a slight bit of wear and tear. This one here, it was in a jacket when we found it, but I'm going to glue that before we send it to you, so don't worry. But what we're I showing you... It. Hold on. That one only... That's the only one with wear and tear. That's and that's listed one. that way. What are you doing? Um, I'm turning up the volume like I asked you to do. Oh. And you didn't. So oh, I see. I was like, be careful of that point. That camera's barely hanging up All there. All right. Hopefully you can hear me better now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So All this right. is this is a fun one. You can see it's in good shape. It's just got this little uh, little mouth over here. Does it sound better now? <laughs> All right. So that one's listed for, and it's listed less. Hold on. I have to. It's pull listed it up. for less, but we'll glue it. All right, if you're just tuning in, you are on the Stay at Home Shopping Network. You can buy everything at jamierayvintagehome.com. And Zeb is showing our Vintage Reader's Digest books. We have three of them. I think I put them under Reader's Digest. So normally they're just like a plain, solid color, like blue, green, yellow. Sometimes they have a print, but I haven't seen them with floral before. This is the first time I found that. So this is this is one of my favorites here. I just I because like of the, the minty green. Well, yeah, and the tree, the style of the tree that's on there. Yeah, so that one is $12.95, but the one that has the spine that's come off just a little bit is $8.95. And I put in the listing red label starting to come off. So that way everybody knows what's going on. Okay. Crescent Moon, Donna says she can't believe how cute those are. These are, we've never, we've been thrifting a long time and we see hey, readers digest all the time. We've not seen them like this with this uh, binding on them. All right, so... Rolling pins. Who painted the handles on this one? Um, me. Oh, this is Jamie painted. Why? I painted them because I was busy. And, and then I this one them. is hand turned, more of an antique style. I think they're just listed under rolling pins. Sorry, someone came in the front door. Maybe it's under rolling pin. Yep. So they're sold individually, and they're both ten ninety five, and they're listed with white painted handles and then natural wood. All right, 
Moving on, what do we have next? So next we have these fun ball jars. This one, this ideal one, has the special fancy Say top. it, they're blue ball jars. They are blue ball jars. <laughs> one has a metal lid and one has a glass lid and we have a few of each listed. They're $16.95 and you get whichever one we grab. So I know that sometimes people are like kind of particular about it, but I listed all of them together and then I showed them individually. And so if you want a metal lid, just choose the variant that has the metal lid. And if you want the glass lid, this one has a bubble. Choose the glass lid. Yeah, some of them, well, glass that old has bubbles. I can't lean against the table. It's cutting off the glass <laughs> part. That's funny. I can't wear this shirt when we do done. videos anymore. <laughs> <laughs> It's How already a little bit tongue in cheek. Uh, I cannot. I can't. <laughs> they want to know how much is the old Christmas jar. Now I already brought. I thought it. it was like twenty six ninety five. It's in the holiday collection on the website. Oh, Christmas tree picture. Oh, we only have four in stock. Dang it, they're selling fast. Okay, uh, twenty eight ninety five. I lied. I didn't really lie. I, it's an error of omission. I just wasn't sure exactly what it was. Are you fixing it? I'm gonna. We gotta censor this shirt. I might just have to, it have, might have to become a work shirt. <laughs> just don't put your boob on the table and it won't do that. I can't not lean over, I gotta show them the stuff close. <laughs> All right, what are people buying censor here? Censor coming at you. Yumiko, what did you get? Hold on. Okay, so we're gonna show, did you get these in? Yeah, we I We just did. don't have pictures oh, for picture. these. I knew it, man, those pictures. See, you gave me so much garbage for I didn't give you garbage I was teasing you and you're like nobody's gonna want Christmas stuff and and look I Jane bought a pitcher and the candlesticks there we go I that's censored Jane. enough her name is spelled just like our daughter Jane see what did Renee get oh she bought one of the cement molds guys the cement molds are live I don't know if you know that but I did not make them live until right before the live these are not found okay. They came, address, they so. came broken on a couple sets. So we're not selling the broken ones, but they were all like a huge set. And so we didn't sell them the set. We are selling the unbroken ones individually. In the overstock category. These are overstock because we're like, eh, those are hard to ship. They didn't come well from the manufacturer. So we're, once we're, these are gone, they'll be gone. So, and they do say different things, but we're just... It's, it's luck of the draw. We're going to grab it and, and send it to you. I don't know what any of it is anyway. So. Yeah, some of it's like Latin. I don't know what the, maybe not even Latin. So I would normally sell them for $7.95 each. And because they're in overstock, you can buy them for $3.95 until they're gone. And once they're gone, they're gone. This one is ceramic. And this one is the green glass. So they're listed as green glass and ceramic. I like, like a, them both. They're like apothecary jars. Yeah. I actually, if you, I, I'm guessing that green's your favorite. I do love the green set. I was gonna set. say, I was gonna ask you, but I already. I even like the that. labeling on the green set. It's kind of, it's kind of ge geometric. All right, time for some napkins because you know you gotta have Jeannie the good says napkins. says I like thick blue tape. Thick blue tape. Yes. <laughs> so these you can use them for decoupage or if you're having a fancy uh, tea party or just a regular now one. Now it's too. worse because it says I love thick. So those are the French quarter napkins. <laughs> And they're not new, but they've been out of stock, so. They've been out of stock, so we're showing you we have them back in stock. If you look, if you just search the word napkin on the website, there's actually quite a few um, cloth and paper napkins. So the paper napkins are cool because you can decoupage with them, like put them on the front of drawers, and I always choose patterns that I really like, so. Since we're talking about stuff that's back in stock, we showed this when we barely first got started. It's been a while since we've shown the sheep but they're back they were so popular they were out of stock and now they've got them again so yeah so we only were able to procure one even though i ordered more than that they only sent one yes. so we're showing we're like hey we got these back in stock and we only have one we have one it's 39.95 and it's 10. sorry <laughs> not to be a tease but there's only one she's like hey oh i don't it's have like the them hunger up games here. for the sheep i don't have them up here but <laughs> The ball of twine and scissors, that's back in stock. And the vintage glass measuring cups that have been out of stock, those are back in stock. And the enamel measuring cups, all three of those items have been hot, 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 and they are back in stock, stock, stock. More than one, too. So. All right. Column base number one. These are chippy white column bases. So here's the deal on these guys. I, did, I dropped the ball 
She and didn't I get the picture. Did not get the pictures. So pay attention. This so is pay number attention, one. Because there's no pictures. Don't say I didn't know what I was getting. If you ordered one, you're getting that one. And there's only four, and the chippy white ones always go super, super fast. So. If they're not, if they don't sell during the video, we'll get pictures of. Yeah. As soon as we're not live anymore, I'll take pictures. I actually already have everything ready to go. I just didn't get them in. So there's that one. There's one. I gotta take these over here. I'm getting punched right. in over here. And I'm wearing uh, this dress here with leggings. I can do this because I have leggings on. Just in case anybody asks what I'm wearing. It's hot, so it's dress season. Lots of ventilation. All right, you're gonna have to lift those, they're heavy. Whoa. Ooh, you almost lost that cloche. All right, so there's this is number, two. number two. And they're all $79.95. They are a little chippy. This one is big and kind of flat, but big. And it's got like chippy blue and white. And good scallops on there. Yeah, and they're all hand carved, so they're all just a little bit different. So we got going on in the whole question situation. All right. Thanks, oh. Mariah. She linked my long sleeve striped dress. I'll be right back. All right, Lolly Lolly, number two, square blue toned column base. All right, they're under chippy white, is what I did. So when we get done here, are you going to come start shit laughing? What? At that farmhouse? <laughs> it's hot today. I it's have, like 92. You know what I have to do? I have to make pediment bees because we sold about 40 last week and I got to finish them so we can ship them. All right, so that's column number three. And it's got the little beads on the top, always popular. And we have also number four, which is my favorite. Four is the favorite. I'll be right back the to Jamie show you. Favorite. I don't know why it's my favorite. Maybe it's because it's got scalloped. Maybe it's the shade of blue that's on it. I think wherever I buy them from, because they're hand carved and imported. I believe they originally come from like India. They put some paint on there. I'm pretty sure this is not like original paint. They just make them look like that. But the actual base itself. Number four. So this is chippy column number four. 79.95. Oh, Callie's on here. Hey, Callie. How are everything in Louisiana? Callie, she says, I like you. Okay. So that's all the column bases. We Everybody do, wants We do have some uh, cement molds. We'll show you here in a little bit. They're down under the table. So I got to get the table cleared off. Renovative home. Found the corbels and bought them. You found yourself some Zeb corbels. The ones that are on sale. Carts and Millie says she wants all the clothes. Carts, you'll have... Tarnia, you're going to have to order all at once. So that way I can shove as many as I can in a flat rate box. Because shipping to Australia is Sunday. All right. All right more so overstock. So all of the cutting boards and charcuterie boards um, are ten dollars off and over stock. This is the Harrington Gray because we got them dark. Which one is that? All right. So this is just listed as the. Oh, I think they're gone. These are gone already. There were nine of them or something like that. What? Um. Uh, I don't think that's right. Hold on. Sorry guys, I gotta check this real Jamie quick. Jamie may have put the quantity in wrong. He may be making more and we might be staining no. them dark on purpose. How many of those are there? Let me go double check. Sorry, One just go moment. count them. So we do have the other color too, if you'd like to feast your eyes that's on that. That's what it is. All right, no, well, that's I'm correct. Down. That's correct, I just gotta fix that one. All right, done. Done and done. So wait, we have a lot of those ones. We have five I, of the dark gray ones. I know, they're in there correctly. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the lighter gray. Oh, okay. A lighter shade of gray? Lighter shade. Is it one of the 50 shades? No. I never read the book, by the way. I should just claim that. All right, so these are $29.95, normally $39.95, just in the overstock collection until they're gone, and then they'll go back up to regular price. All right, next. Okay, and then we've got, how many of these did we have? Did we have four we of these? We have, uh, let's see, hold on. We have these, two These are colors. with the handles. So we, we have one in the light and four in the dark gray of these, and these are $29.95 regularly, $39.95. If you go to Overstock, it'll show you like what the regular price is and then what the markdown, because it'll have a compare out. You don't need a code. They're they got the little bird on them. Yep. Okay. So they're listed under charcuterie board and charcuterie board with 
candle. Just look up board. That's how I find them. Good luck spelling charcuterie. Charcuterie. Rectangle with two handles. They're in the handmade. Or if you just go to the Overstock collection on the website, everything's in the Overstock collection. I tried to make it easy. I made a whole collection with all the discount items in it. I felt like that was money. All right, are you getting the two handled one or do I show them? Oh, the cutout one. I'm going to show them. You don't the... really need to fancy your. It's just funny now. Now it's just funny. Okay, so these are sifters. And I have two of them. That's what the book looks like unpainted all the way. Yeah, that's the large book unpainted. So this is what I'm trying to clear off and show you. I had a bunch of stuff on it. This is the one with the handles. So they're, these they're ones bigger. are normally $49.95 and they're marked down to $39.95. And that is the one, this is the one with handles and that's the one with the cutout handles. And you can find them in the Overstock collection. And periodically you will find things in the Overstock collection. Sometimes things come in the mail to me and they come broken and I'm... I say it too lazy to put in a claim with a manufacturer and I would just rather sell it at a discount than deal with filling out their paperwork so I'm gonna keep adding stuff so check the overstock periodically because I'll just add things as I find them or as I'm cleaning out the basement something that maybe we're no longer gonna carry or whatever or we just make too many of them all right so these sifters are $8.95 each and we have the one that's the measuring sifter with the wood handle and the brown wall with the black handle. Brown transfer wear, shoot. Sorry. Did we I not have... even show it and it's No, gone? it's free. Oh. It's not actually free. It's better be quick, type it in there before someone it's goes. It's still one in stock. Anything. My followers are good, they would never just buy it. We'll show it next, now that we know that. It's 19.95, it's from the hall on Saturday. Where did it go? Oh, it's right there, underneath the snowflakes under the snowflakes oh okay so it's 1995 for the brown transfer wear plate it's from fairfax england and it's semi porcelain from upper hanley it's got three like little tiny baby chips on the bottom that are dark because they happened a long time ago and it's also stamped number five i don't know that that means anything but i did notice that and it's got some really good crazing and crackling on it some people like that some people Here, don't show them those while i put this plate in a safe place llama mama says y'all too much it, we i love you too much to cheat you and linda smith says it's not free it's priceless there you go less what kind of wood um some of the wood is fur and some of the wood is alder poplar. just depends poplar that's the word poplar or fur one or the other Sometimes we use alder for Just life. depends on what I have on hand or what scraps or from what we're making. Now, a lot of those are made out of like scrap wood and things. All right, let's get to the petite. Do you want to do the cloche or what are you going to well, do? I'm going to show them this because it's up here. All right. Snowflake. It's like a snowflake garland. He's super excited about the snowflake garden. Garden. Garland. If there's anything we're not showing you guys that you want to see, let us know. I'm going to say six feet because my wingspan is about six feet. <laughs> And it's, I, it's right there at the edge. We of have it. 24 in stock because if you have to put them on your tree, you're going to need more than one. So I ordered a lot. I don't want anybody to get mad at me, especially if they go out. They of got stock. little sparklies on the snowflakes too. They're $19.95 each, and they're made of wood. And so this is like wood beads, and then these little wood snowflakes on there. And he says six foot because Odelia did not put measurements. No, it's, it's like right at six feet, like it's a six foot garland. I, I will not uh, contradict your wingspan. I'm pretty well, sure that you have measured your arm length, your leg length. I know you know all the things. So here's what happens. You end up on the ladder sometimes and you're like, huh, my tape measure's over there. And so you just measure stuff. <laughs> sure. You're like, my hand, that's seven and a half inches from there to there. Bingo. You measured everything. I get that. All right. So cloche <laughs> is next. Oops. I spelled it. I spelled cliche. Not cliche. It's a cloche. This just comes by itself. So if you've got a fun little plate or something you've thrifted and you want to put a cloche on it and dress it up, take it next level. There you go. It's trying to put emojis in there. I'm just trying to spell cloche. All right. There we go. And like, I found it. It's like you couldn't possibly. No, I it. love to put it on like little tarnished silver dishes. This one, $13.95. It's a good weight, and I love the way that it, the little knob on top kind of dips down. I don't know how to explain it. 
and it kind of has almost rings in the top. So it's good. You, um, I could probably reach I was that like, better than you. Um, okay, two little buckets. They got wooden handles. Yeah, aren't they cute? They come I, in a set. I don't think they're actually old. They're just made to look old. How did you uh, determine that? Um, I just did. You're so good. So aged bucket planters. Can you tell me the hot dimensions on those? Because Adelia did not. Yes. They they mean, set, you get both for thirteen ninety five. Two. Not diameter one, two. on the big one is six and three quarters. Okay. Height is six or five and three quarters. I promise that I try to get this before I go live, but it just never happens. Five inches. So no, that that's four and three quarters. That is. Oh, sorry. That's why, you know, that's probably why when I measure stuff for the farmhouse, it's wrong. All right. About <laughs> five inches in diameter. Now they're in there. Okay. Jamie's going to be doing the ship lap, so we will see. You know what I always say, though? You don't measure with the tape measure. Mark where you need to make your cut. Like, put your piece up there when you're doing trim. It's, put your piece up there and mark where you need to cut it. It's and probably my best that's bet. way more accurate. Place the cloche on the column base. Do we have a column base they want to see? I um, think the cloche is smaller than the column base. Is there one with like a narrow top? Yeah, I mean this one here is Oh, it's not tea. It's a uh, blackberry lemonade. Christy brought Whoa, it to me. Tripped on a tripped on a cement hole down there. there so you go. it's kind of small for this, but But there you go. That gives you an idea. I mean even though it's small. If it was tall, it would be the perfect size because it's yeah. about the right diameter. There. It's petite. As in the title says, petite. All right. It would be perfect for a cupcake or a small candle. And Sandra says, and mint. I don't know what that is. Okay, can you guys see the cow okay in the plastic wrap? I didn't want to take it out because it's protecting it. I I have a lot of cow pictures, so bear with me. We Jamie got all the cows. She's excited about the cows. This is Why a good one. Why would though. you buy one cow when you could buy three different cow prints? Now I bought. Here, let's show them the really big one. That's my favorite. Hold on. What that one? What is that? That one's not showing up under cow. What the heck is that listed under? Hold on. Is it not listed at all? No, I put it there. I swear I did. Oh, well, while she's looking and figuring this one out, I'll show you a found lantern. This was a part of this was part of the five hundred dollar thrift from last the, weekend. Hold on, is the lantern in there? I don't know. You said everything under the table, so I put all the stuff that was under the table. On I know there. that I took a pic. It's not in there. Put that away. Oh. I'll put it. Okay. When we're no longer live, the lantern will go up. You know, watch for this if you've been eyeballing. How much are you going to sell it for? $29.95. $29.95. If you want it, email info at jamierayvintagehome.com or check later. First come, first serve. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know, like, seriously what the heck is going on with my brain these days. I've literally been putting stuff in all day. Hold on, cow. I'm gonna, oh, there it is. It's called primitive brown cow. Maybe I just looked up the wrong word. Mariah's probably already found it. But it should come up under. Here's a uh, tarnished silver on the bottom. A nope. Cake plate or serving plate. It does not have a cloche. It comes just like this. Check out that pattern on that though. Look, it spins. Look into my eyes. It's $14.95 and it spins. <laughs> It's in the antique vintage and fashion. You know, collection. in case you're just you just can't reach across it to grab that uh, you know, you just can't make it to grab that other cupcake and you just You're so right good. there. All right, so the brown cow is sixteen ninety five for that print and I'm putting it on the website now without a picture. Actually I think I can put a picture. Let's see if I can figure that out. Deb, can you go get some lotion? Where are the lotions at? Um, they're already out on the by the soap. Oh, okay. All right. Are we gonna do some smell o vision? We're gonna do some smell o vision while I put some things here. But you need to talk to them about your lavender in okay, the basket. Okay, that's potted lavender, but I'm not ready to talk about it. I'll, sh I'll just show them the things. You're just gonna some show little, them the things. Some little topiaries. 
If you've been waiting for the peach luster wear, it's up. I'll show it to you in a minute. <laughs> All right, hurry, don't be gone. I'm boring right now. I'm putting a picture of a cow in here. I'll be right back. All right, let's put this in home decor. All right, if you bear with me for two seconds, I will have those up here. It's amazing how quickly I can put it up here and yet I forget. All right, so the cow is up there if you want to buy the cow, and I will get that lantern up for you guys. The lantern won't have a picture, so it's under the home decor. We have four of them. I'll show you this cow. It's a big cow. Zeb took it out of the plastic wrap. I don't remember authorizing that situation. Hold on. Mariah, what do you think this cow is called? I can't even say it. it the manufacturer said it's the Charlos Lice. C-H-A-R-O-L-A-I-S. Maybe it's a French word. Does anybody know how you pronounce that? I'm not really sure. Anyways, it's a big mamma jamma. It's 22 by 36, and it's 84.95. So here's the whole cow, the bottom of the cow, the top of the cow, and this one is in the website. Is somebody, I wanna know how people pronounce that. I can't say the word. What? Just search the word cow. Charlay, Charlay, it's a Charlay cow. Why is it Charlay if it's, oh, C-H is sh. So that's kind of deceiving. That makes it look like it's a photograph in this picture. Check this out. Well, so it is a photograph that the manufacturer took and then they turned it into a print. They crackled it. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. Let me get the lavender. I have a lot of things that are lavender, Zeb. Okay, the lavender basket, they were asking about that. Can you bring that back? Because I wasn't ready for that one. We weren't ready yet? Yeah, so there's two, and they're $69.95 each for the lavender baskets. It looks pretty realistic for fake lavender. It's pretty real for being Smell fake. it. Take a deep breath. And then we have the lavender topiaries, which is the taller lavender. And that comes in a terracotta pot, and it's seventy nine ninety five. Where's those? These are over taller, here. but thinner. They're in the floral and the home decor. We got different breeds of lavender over here. Yeah. So there you go. We got lavender. It's like I'm in the bushes. Are you, what are you doing in the bushes? All right, smell I, some stuff while I look something up real quick. Smell some stuff. Yeah, it's always stuff. fun when I start smelling things. I have this other big... Oven. It's always fun when you start smelling things. Are we going to take all of these home since we're opening them? Potted... Hold on. Is that the potted lavender? Can I see that real quick? Yes. Um, and it's got a cream pot? Mm-hmm. Okay. I need to update that. I put the wrong... So one. this is the same brand as the soaps, right? Yeah, it's from France. Parade de Provence. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I said that. Completely correct. So it's got great, great packaging if you fill in fancy with your hand lotions. And these ones here came from the front of the shop, so they've been uh, labeled by Jack. He labeled all of them, so no matter which so one. So we've got sea get, salt, get lavender, um, just milk, honey almond, so I white little... gardenia. I lied. The pot of lavender is not seventy nine ninety five. It's forty nine ninety five. There's oh. a taller one that's seventy nine ninety five, so I fixed it. I was like, that's a lot of money for the short one. And hand butter. Forty nine ninety five. I digress. It's been saved. Good thing I caught that. So do you know the specifics on this lotion? Um, it's specifically from France. This hand butter one. It smells oh. really, really good. I have to open all of these. Are we going to just take these home? And it's distributed out of Washington. They're sealed. Oh. Yeah, I mean. I can't smell it through the seal. You can't smell it? You can't tell me? Yeah, we'll take them out of stock. So which one are you going to do first? So this is the hand butter. All right. I don't think you can really smell it unless you put it on my hand. Okay, there's a little dab. All right. Which one is this one? You, you're not rubbing it in. You're supposed to rub it in. What? So that felt, it's, it's very floral, like, like the labeling on there. It's very floral. Very floral. Yep. Which one is that called? Um, the hand butter. Lotion hand butter. <laughs> Just looking it up. It says rich on it, or rich with an rich. E on the end. Well, 
hold on. Here, hold it. Oh, it's not under lotion? Under reesh? Hold on. But you didn't rub it in. My whole point was I wanted you to rub it in so that way I, I have really My smell. hands are not super clean right now. I mean, they're cleanish, <laughs> but I came from the farmhouse and then I put there all this is. stuff up. There all right. Is. This is Mirabelle. If you're not into uh, lotions, hang on for just a sec. I'm about to show cement molds. So hand cream, the honey almond. Hold on. It's eight ninety nine. I but I feel like if you gave me a hand massage. That smells like, like honey almond. Like almond bread with honey in it. Oh, it actually made me hungry for your mom's wheat bread. Yeah, this this I'm glad this is coming home because I'm not much of a lotion person, but my hands have been taking a beating lately. The grinder got me today, that's why I got this big old band-aid right here. So, you know, some lotion could be good. This one's milk. I'm not so sure that I want to, unless it's like yogurty. We'll, we'll is see. Is it a lotion or a cream? This is a hand butter, Les. So I don't know what you'd call that. This is a hand cream. They all cream. say hand cream on them. Yeah, so I guess they're not really lotion. They're hand cream Yeah, I need butter. you. You weren't supposed to rub that in. I'm going to have to put it in a different spot to get the... Well, I got all kinds of arm space. Which one is that? So this is milk, and it's got like a really clean kind of fragrance. It's not lemony. It's milk. It's hand cream. It's just cream. hand cream. It says milk on it. Yeah, it's just like a clean scent. That, that's what yeah. you want to describe that. Clean scent. Tammy, he has paint on his shirt because he kept bending Tape over, shirt. and it says glass, but it didn't say... It was it, creasing it just right, and it, it was making it look it like it said like something else. It like a bad else. word, and he didn't want people to see it, so that's why that's on there. This is lavender. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this one smells Smite. like lavender. Try it on that one. They said, do this one last or you'll never smell anything else. Do the lavender These last? can just be the testers at the shop. Ooh, it's a strong lavender, though. Ooh, now I'm ready for a nap. Okay, next. Okay, we've got white gardenia, however gardenia. you say that. Gardenia. gardenia. It's a flower, so I'm guessing it's floral. Gardenia. All right. Are we going to show the red truck? Yeah, I can show you the red truck. Do you want hold the on, hold on. Laura, do you want the big red truck? Is that what you want to see? That I one's floral one. too. Not like a but more like a uh, It's like a gardenia flower? No, I want to say almost like a Christmas tree floral. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's crisp. All right, sea salt. This is the one we have at the farmhouse. Sea salt. Leela says she loves the Charlois. Did I say that right? Yeah, that cow is bomb. We have another cow, so stick around. More cows coming soon. All right. What's that smell like? So sea this salt. one, the sea salt one. It smells like the ocean. Yeah, it smells It smells tangy like the ocean, kind of. Tangy like the ocean. If All you've right. ever been in the ocean and got sea salt in your mouth from the ocean water, it's tangy. It'll get you. I am going to, so these are all, all of our Bath and Body products have a flat rate shipping of $5.95 no matter how much you buy. And if you want to look up the lotions, you just go to Bath and Body. All the collections are in there. I believe the lotions start at like $8.99. It's time for another cow. I'm getting it out. Okay. Let and me get then the cow. I've been promising cement molds, so I'm going to do it after this cow. Okay. We're not showing all the cement molds because they're, they're heavy. They're heavy. And so some of them are already downstairs. All right, this is the cow's in pasture, which is probably out of the three cows. It's my favorite, and it's also the most expensive. It's eighty nine ninety five. That's usually how that works. My favorite's the most expensive. Zeb's taking it out of the Char Charolais. Why can I say that? So this one's crackled like the other one was. Sorry, I'm getting it out of this plastic wrap over here. Shipping. So everything is five. It's in the Bath and Body. No matter how much soap and lotion you buy, it's five ninety five flat buy, rate shipping. If you, if you buy, buy one, one bar or four bars or whatever, no matter how much you buy, it's five ninety five. Um, Donna. So this is the cows and pasture. It's eighty nine ninety five. Comes with hanging hardware. You could frame it, but each of these, the bigger ones, they're wrapped. So and sh sh uh, so is. It's wrapped canvas. So is this also the primitive cow, which is now on the website, sorry it wasn't earlier, it's also wrapped. Let me get you the crackle. It's good. So if you can't afford like $400, $40,000 fine arts, you can get these ones. They're big and they're awesome. It's just Charlay. It's the same, it's almost, it's a just, it's like two inches bigger than the other one. Tarnia was raised on a sheep and cattle farm. Nice. All right, do we have anything else we need to start? The lard jars. We have all kinds of stuff. 
I gotta show. I'm gonna show a cement mold. Oh, it's six ninety five. Caitlin's correcting me. Flat rate shipping, shipping is six ninety five. Man. People, I would be refunding dollars if Caitlin didn't correct get me. Get all of them up in arms too when you misquote pricing. Okay. All right. Show them the wire lard jar. The wire lard jar. They're nine ninety five each. They're like the one we used at the farmhouse the other day for the bathroom. Look how cute those are. It's flower cutting season. If you guys have got any peonies that you need to cut or buy at Costco, if you're like me, these are perfect for that. So I don't know if you can see it. There's little squares on the on the glass inside here under the wire. The cement molds, and then there's the. We're gonna do cement molds. Then we have an antique ceiling tin, and then we have a four pack of florals. Where are you going? I'm gonna go get the big red truck. Somebody asked to see it. Oh, is there a truck? Well, we only have one, but yes. Okay, cement molds. We got some really cool ones this week. There are these medium sized, Jamie. Uh, yes, they are. These are medium size. Let me look and see. This is supposed to have tape on it, but the tape doesn't stick well to them because they are authentically old and used. And I don't see the tape on this one, so. Go search down through the menu. There's a drop down on the cement molds. There will be a picture of all of them, or should be. I don't have it up in front of me on the website, but, and then when you click the drop down, you can A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and look and see which one you want. And that's how you pick them. Jamie, what's the pricing on these medium ones? I don't know, I have to look it up. She's gotta look. I was gonna have to I look I can't too. remember all these things. All right, I got the big red truck. I'll look it up. Okay. Oh, that one's dirty. Yeah, this one is dirty. Oh, I put it up. Eighty-nine ninety-five. That's what I thought. S side note: napkins are back. <laughs> That's new. That one's a uh, cloth napkin. Oh, this is cloth. I, I grabbed it so I could see my mold down. So I'll just show it to you. All right. Which ones smell the best? Which. Which lotions? I liked I, the honey butter. The honey, yeah, the honey butter. If you're hungry for bread with honey. I would say the honey butter and the sea salt were my hands down favorites. And if I had to edge a number one out, it would be the honey butter. Well, because food wins with you every time. All right. Let me pull up the red truck here. I I'm grabbing order. another cement mold so you guys can feast your eyes on it. I mean, these are just really cool. They're like, you're, when you get one of these, you're essentially getting a little piece of history. I know why Laura wants to see it because she bought it. <laughs> these architectural details. I only bought one because I was like, these are spendy. All over buildings. All right, here's your here's your red truck you bought, Laura. Do the wheels steer? No, um, they're fixed. no, but the way you use this for Christmas is you put your Christmas tree in the back of it, and it makes the most darling display. So. We do still have the red and green trucks. They're like this big. I just don't know if that'll support a Christmas tree. Not a real one. Oh, okay. There's the back of it, Laura. There you go. We only had one and Laura bought it. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. There's your truck. I'll leave it up here so we can ship it to you. And she bought three random old bottles. We'll have to talk about the random old bottles okay. in a little bit. I don't know, Jamie. You're, you're, oh, here, your tape is sticking on this one. This is E. Oh, did the tape feet. fall off of the other ones? That one didn't have tape on it. I knew it. I remember I said, don't throw away that tape. Let me see what it looks like. It's got two different styles on each Well, where's side. the tape I told you not to get I have it over here. Okay, can you bring it here and then I could do a, the prod elimination? A before and after? No, if I just... Because we only had two that fell off. But this tape's not going to stick, so you're going to have to like... I know, I just need it. to see the letter. G and C are our options. Oh, so, this one's a big one. I'm earning my money on this one. This, today, I went through every cement mold and I matched up the variant picture. So if you click it, the picture attached to it matches. So that is definitely C. This one is C? No, this one is C. Down the one below? That, the one on the bottom that you didn't know what it was. Okay. That one doesn't have a... This one is also, it's got dirt and stuff on it. I think that's G. Well, geez, what you have in your hand there. Yeah. Well, 27 it... by 20, that looks about right. Hold on, let me see. I'm going to look through all the pictures. I hate it when things fall off. Yeah, these molds are... Wait, wait, let me look. Uh, G looks like... 
It's square. Oh, wrong way. G looks like that. I think it is. That is G. Yep. It's like a yes, turtle shell. It's G. So it just it just fell off. That's why I have pictures and measurements. I got 50 ways from Sunday to check it. All that right. flower one's pretty. We actually have some with people on them. If you search. Ceiling tin. These are these are just fun to frame out and put. Like I've seen people make clocks out of these, out of the center, all kinds of fun this, stuff you can do with these. So we have. Hold on. Are these something we can get more of? Like if someone wanted to yeah. put these on like a hood or something in their house? Or? We have a bunch of them. Let me see how many we have in stock. This is the antique ceiling tins. Do, 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 do. Guys, I'm going to have to go get some dinner after this. I'm, I'm feeling a little sluggish. I'm going to have to get the mouse like I wanted before so I could be faster. Why is this not? Nope. You don't have it listed. No, it's in there. Did you spell ceiling with an I? You know... I-E instead of E-I? I don't really think you're funny. I before E except after C. I know it's in here somewhere. What did I put the under? Did I... Oh, I might have spelled it wrong. No? Okay, we got a couple more things Child. here, guys. I'm going to find that. Mariah probably already found it. Large vintage style ceiling tile. What did I say that it was? I don't know. I we before E? Oh, I spelled it wrong. It's I before E? Except after C. You have that right. Oh, okay. Large, you, just, you were just typing in tin. You have tile on there. Oh, well, it's thirty nine ninety five. There you go. Sorry. I was starting to lose my mind. I'm like, I know I'll put that in there. Are these individual or are these a set? Because these are cool. I like stuff that's like somewhat scientific or signage. So those are made from antique prints. They're replicas. And it is a set of four. What is Mariah saying? Uh, Sandra wanted to know what was for dinner. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to make it home tonight because i got to go over to the farmhouse and finish I like, oh, sheathing a wall. Don't, don't ask me what's for so, dinner. So, I don't know. I might just stop somewhere. I've been... I've been working until about midnight over at the farmhouse the last few nights, so, so it might just be a uh, what's closest fast food that I drive by. <laughs> so these are a set of four, and they're $99.99 for the set of four. Okay, so let me show and them I only have four. one set. But we only got one. It's a wood frame, it's and it looks it's like it's spending. got... Um, Hold on, you lost a corner. It's okay. It looks like it's been... We'll get it back in the package when we okay. get ready to ship it. So it looks like Jay the frame says I love these. has been lime washed. All right. We gotta make sure these corners get back on. Yeah, our shipping team is pretty fanatical about the corners. Oh. Here's the second one of the set. You probably should have left them out so we could show all four of them together. Okay, I'll get that other one out again. It's hard, it's gonna be hard. It's okay, I'll get that one out if you get the next one. It's gonna be hard to show them together. Make sure you I'll keep all the two, packaging. And you hold the other two, don't worry. If I lose any of that packaging, Christy, my shipping manager for the home decor website will disown me. Okay. Here are these two. We got two. Also a good I one. I actually want these for our bedroom, so if they don't sell, I won't be sad. Well, we already have all those prints that are in our I'm room I'm going to sell the ones we have, and I'm going to put these ones in there. Like, we have a big wall. If you guys haven't seen Ours our bedroom makeover cool. from back in the day, it's probably two years old now. Okay. On the video. All right. Now, you hold those two. Imagine these on your wall. And the, the wood is kind of rustic. There's some knots, it's a little bit white. Oh, you're doing it. You're not. Oh, you want to. Well, I'm trying to get them to envision it. There we go. Boom, baby. All right, now carefully put these away. I'm just going to stack them for now. So $99.95 for the set of four prints. Will I be painting the frames? No. These have like a little bit of a lime wash on the wood, yeah. and it's good. Show them the lime wash. You can see like it's almost like a white wax, but it's like... Can't a... they be sold individually? Um, I'd have to order more because I only have one set. So, because I have to buy them as a set, but maybe later, Donna, for you. <laughs> Put these somewhere safe. All right. Okay, Let's see. peach luster wear, and then I think we're close to being done. I have some olive. Megan, we did pass the four-way inspection. Yeah, we did. We passed. Okay, peach luster wear. 
It's all on the website, all priced individually. So that way, if you're trying to complete a set, we can. did thrift it. They're in really good shape, but I give them like a 90% rating. There are like little imperfections here and there. So they range in price anywhere from like $3.95 all the way up to $9.95 for the big bowl. The average price is about $4.95, and I try to be pretty detailed. Those are the teacups. I'm not an expert on what they're called, but I listed them each individually so you could see them. Those are the creamers. We and have one this mug. One mug. One. Does anybody collect this? I just think it's really, really pretty. Three of these. Little serving dishes. Yeah, they're like, I called them mini casserole dishes because I just didn't know what they were. And then this is sold by itself because it's just a little bowl. It has a white inside. Most yeah, of them it have is Fire inside. King made in the USA, six ounce. Yeah, they're all Fire King. That's probably like a little prep bowl. Yeah. And then these I called dessert bowls. That one has the laurel inside of it. And then we have the scalloped one. So those are four ninety five for the bowls. So we each. listed them individually. That way, if someone's like searching for a set or needs to replace something in their set, they can just snag it. And then we have one serving bowl. It's nine ninety five. I only found one of those. So those are under Fire King Peach Lusterware, and they're sold individually. So I'm hoping to get more dishes up soon. It just takes a minute to get them all listed. I'm one assuming by one. this is oven safe. It says so on it says oven on the bottom. I don't know if that um, means it's oven yeah, safe. Yeah, but I wouldn't put it in the oven. I wouldn't even really use them. I'd use these for decor. Yeah, they're fun. So some of them are like Sailing peach on the inside. On the this is a vintage sled. Also Zeb's making it sing. It's in the holiday collection. Found this thrifting. I only have one because I found it out junk in. And it's seven by three and a half by four and it's twelve ninety five. So if you want that vintage sled, you better get it because it's only one. Um, Jane says these are pretty, she surprised I still have them. I still have them because I just listed them. All right, let's talk so about the giant, let's extend an olive branch. These are olives, olive branches. Olive tree, topiaries. Olive tree, topiaries. And they, I would say you need to put them in something larger or practice your balancing. No, I just think that you need to add a little extra. Some extra weight Or to just put them in something bigger. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So they, they've got they cement. They overestimated the ginormous size of them. Well, here, this one's kind of leaning and it's, it feels like it's got a wire up through the center. Are you gonna fix that for them? Uh, well, when you get it, you know, play around with it. But they're fun, they're good. They're really tall and these are hard to find. We always try, Jamie's always looking for these and uh, they, that's why we have it on the website because she probably couldn't find them, so she got them. They're $89.95 and they need to go in a crock. That's what I for put them both? in. For both? No, for one. Oh, I know. Oh, wow. Greenery. It's expensive. And this greenery. You're the worst salesman ever. They're a little wobbly and they're expensive. Zeb doesn't like them. <laughs> hey, I don't want them to show up and have Oh, someone... it's a sleigh, not a sled. All right, fine. Okay, you know what else we did not show them that is new? We have big olive buckets that just came in stock. They're out on the floor. Okay. And we have tobacco baskets. Oh, the big memorandum. Just bring one tobacco basket because they're, uh, they're ginormous. Okay. Because I'm a little bit concerned if we bring out all of them, you're going to get a little breathy. Hold on, guys. The tobacco baskets are coming. What do we got here? Lauren, she's not even, is she shopping or shipping? Lauren just bought some lavender massage oil. Lauren also works for me. What did Barbara buy? Barbara bought, oh, the botanical prints are gone. I'm gonna have to order more of those. Hopefully they're not sold out again. Let's All right, see. so this is number one. Look at how big this is. Susan bought the number six and there's, mold. they are used they have broken slats but they've also got some branding and things on them for what lot they were with yeah so the thing about this is a lot of people have the tobacco baskets from the hobby lobby oh right? man these are the real deal these are, are the real deal we imported them because you can't get them here and we only have six 
and they're gonna be a big mama jamma and expensive to ship but lucky for you shipping is included in the cost so these are 265 dollars and i actually went on etsy just to like price them out and i couldn't find one with shipping under three hundred dollars so i felt like 265 was good because it included the shipping and every single um tobacco basket is listed one and they're all six. different and i included the picture of the front and then the picture of the top that shows you like the branding and the coloring on the rim because some people collect them from different like colors and stuff and so they'll say like one and then top of one two top of two so that way you guys can see which tobacco basket you're getting olive bucket oh um sea salt or ocean ocean smells like a man like if you like when a man gets out of the shower and they smell really good and sea salt smells like you've been at the ocean so i didn't know there was a difference uh, between I a man always, and an ocean i always smell like the ocean okay <laughs> maybe the stinky part that doesn't have good good movement it's like the I'm, I'm like the bay that doesn't uh, get the tide going in and out very often. Sandra says it's a good price for the tobacco baskets. I know, right? I actually got a really good deal on them, so I tried to pass that on, and the only reason they're as much as they are is just because shipping is spendy. So, all right. This is $49.95, and this isn't like your decorative olive bucket from the craft store that's like this big. It's big. It's, it's big. This is it's like big. someone's going to work and going to put some olives in here. It's 15 inches by 16 inches, but I feel like it might be bigger than that. That's what the manufacturer said. Should we measure that to be sure? Diameter is 15 and a half. There you go. Height is like, 14 and 3 eighths, but when you, when you include handle, it's 17. Okay, so they're like right on the money with that. I mean, it's a little bit bigger than what it says, but nobody gets sad if the olive bucket's a little bit bigger. And these are a little bit rusted. They're not authentic. Um, I have ordered some authentic ones, but those are going to be twice the price, so, and they won't be here for a few weeks. And I actually hope they come, because sometimes I order things and then the picker's out. All right, do we have anything else? Jane says stop getting uh, awesome stuff. Can't stop it, Jane. That's what we do. Fight it. How many olive buckets do I have? Let's see. Um, I think we got a few. I think I ordered like five or six, but I don't know how many are left because when I put stuff up, what on are you website, doing? Are you going to plant something cool or do like a fun arrangement? I'll tell you what, if you go to buy them and I don't have enough, oh, I have five in stock. So if you need more than that, let us know, buy those and I'll order you more. The authentic ones. I don't, I think I ordered like four cause those were kind of spendy. Let me just make sure. Did we get everything? I think I've shown everything now. Oh, just, also, Jack likes the lavender sea salt, the uh, bath salts that we just put up on the website. Oh. He wanted to be here, but he forgot we were going to test it. Oh, we have the rooster. We can't not have the rooster. Last but not least, the rooster. This was on the back porch. Someone brought this by. Metal rooster. It was not somebody. It was Heidi. Heidi brought it by. 1995. I did give it a fresh paint job because it, it needed a little freshness. It needed a little freshness. It's got some fun little wire feet. Hey, did our chickens come today? Are they at the post office? They got shipped yesterday. Okay. So we got chicks coming. They've been hatching for the last month, and now they're in transit. Can you re request more wall decor? I gave you three pictures of cows and four prints that sold. So those are yeah. What what more wall decor do? You, what do you want, Walla Mama? What you want? I might got it, and you don't even know. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. You stay here. You talk talk to him about something. Talk to them about something. Do you have these these feeders in? Did you get those I in? I don't think so. Don't show them that. Don't show them the feeders. Oh, yeah, yeah. I knew there was more. We got the floral cut windows Care in white. Careful walking back there. You could knock the camera over. I'm not knocking the camera over. All right. That came in. So we got these. I don't know how much these are. She's She's left, and I don't know what she priced them at. But these are cool. They're tin in the middle, stamped, and then I don't, they're not old. They've been painted to look old, but they did a really good job. Like the paint in the bottom is chippy and crackly, and it's got that good. That that's kind of why we pick some of what we do. We're like, oh, that actually looks like it's really old, even though it's not. And a tiny little Christmas truck. Use it for boys' room. This could be. Here, let me get this off. 
This could be almost like an yeah, ornament. Tall one, the one's like or you could take the tag off of it, or the, the little Wait, twine off of it. It's like brown, hey, hey, but it's tall. Careful, don't go over there. Don't don't go over there. Just hand it to me from over here. I'm going to go. If you even bump that, it's going to fall over. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, oh, hold on. I'm coming. She went around the back way. <laughs> well, I can't get past you. I could move much easier than what you just did. Hold on. So well, these, these we usually have in brown. Um, we did get some, but they also sent us this style. Okay. So that's the primitive corbel and chippy white. Did you show them the, the mirror? Oh, hold on. I didn't show them. There's, a, I didn't show them a mirror. There, there's another double. So these are all handmade, and there's like eight okay. different sizes. I didn't grab all of them. That's the biggest one. Whoops. It's eighty nine ninety five. Do ya? Lynn, if you want to set up botanical prints, I can actually have them drop ship to you, like directly from the manufacturer. So just email info at jamierayvintagehome.com, and then Caitlin will send you an invoice. So if we're out of stock on something, and you know it's something that's like not one of a kind, you can always email Caitlin and we can... We're losing stuff. I grabbed the wrong one. All right. They're everybody saying hi to Odelia. Hi, All right. This one's really long. So this one, and these yeah. are all under one length. So, or one link, sorry, on variants. So you just look up the dough bowl link. And then this is the small little, the little friend of this one. That's the number three. Number three? Yeah. Mariah's getting them. Hold well, on, don't show them that because I don't know what number that is. I can look up. This is the number two. This one is twenty one ninety five. This is the number one. It says on the tag. That actually, sweetie, that's not right. It's not right. No, because number one is the main one. Is it the number okay. eight then? Because there's also an eight back here on it. Oh, that's probably it. Let me just double check. All kinds Don't of numbers roll. on this tag. This is cool because it's got. I can't believe I almost forgot these. It's the Dough Bowl Collection. That's what it's under. Dough Bowl Collection. Okay, so let me look at that. Sorry, I because people were asking for ones I didn't carry. So that is that is eight. So we have nine dobles in the collection. Number eight is $69.95. Which one is that? Number two, that's $21.95. $21.95. And the big long skinny one is number six, and that is $39.95. Sorry, it's taking me a second. This is number three here if you want to grab that one. This is $24.95 for that one. Do you guys like dough bowls? <laughs> I hope so, because I ordered a lot of them. All right, and then give them the big, the big mamma jamma is $89.95. And not shown here, we have the, we don't have the number seven, um, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. So if you look up the dough bowl collection, those are the ones we have. I am gonna order some sevens, but I don't have any. We do have seven, don't we? Nope, they didn't ship any sevens. I ordered them. Phew. I, I think now I that's everything. I almost forgot the dough bowls. I can't believe it either. How could you? How could I do that? I'm pretty sure we did. And the primitive we'll corbels and, and chippy white. Okay, well, what do they look like? They're Let's number see. seven. If you think we have them, go look. Hey, well, I'm pretty sure I know what's this one. All right, I'm just making sure. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I missed. I ordered so many different things. So that's lots of it. stuff back in stock. Lots of new things and. The overstock stuff is on sale until it runs out, and then we'll make new stuff as, as it's needed for ordering. Um, but check all of those things out and be watching those, because sometimes we'll get some fun stuff like this that like maybe one or two of the items was damaged in the set, and we'll sell them individually. I'll try, you guys. If you guys are in the Jamie Ray Vintage... Oh, yeah, that's that's not number seven, though. That is number... Oh, well, shut that back door. I will try yeah. as I get new things to post in the Jamie Ray Vintage Facebook group and on Community, because I have so... I've ordered a lot of stuff. I've, I've ordered a few things. All right, guys. Tell Hold your on. friends if they like authentic home decor that is found old or looks like it's old, this is your place. JamieRayVintageHome.com Home.com, but now I need to put those in stock because I said I didn't have any. Now I gotta tell Sarah I got them. I got you. Oh, I know what it is. The antique water jugs. Odelia, would you give me that we antique water jug over there? some stuff for next week. We've been on for 70 minutes. Well, I keep forgetting stuff and I don't want people to not know and then be like, you didn't tell me that you got them back in stock. We haven't had these for a while. The water jugs? Mm-hmm. 
Are they up here or are yeah. they downstairs? It's, still, it's right over there, on the table. Oh, oh over there. these the wood ones. Yeah, the wood water jug. They're $49.95. And this is A. Just this one, I promise. Did I tap you a little hard? Tap me? Yeah, I think I tapped you. I didn't you. even feel you tap me. Okay, good. <laughs> Poor Deb is hangry. Am I hangry? No, I just... I got a lot of stuff to do tonight, and uh, and you know, I'm spending too much time showing him all the good stuff. All an right. hour is about my limit. I promise this is the last one. All right, so everything that we've shown you, this is the antique water jug, forty nine ninety five. This is letter A. Everything we've shown you, you can pick up at jamierayvintagehome.com. So if you have any questions, comment, let us know. And if there's something you can't find, if there's clothing you like that you can't find, all those kinds of things. I'm an excellent finder and shopper. It's one of my many skills. So <laughs> put it in the comments and I will see what I can find if we don't have it. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay. Tomorrow sure. farmhouse video, it'll be fun. Yes. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. And go to jamierayvintagehome.com. There we go. There's the finger for all your good stuff. Catch you guys later. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.